So this time we're able to set up our CI and our application is able to now run and we can be able to tell that it ran the tests, the coverage didn't drop and all that good stuff. So right now what I want to do is I want to show you how you can be able to deploy each pull request to Heroku and test it and make sure that the like changes are working the way they should work even when they go to the main branch. So what you want to do is you want to have a Heroku account. So in Heroku over here, you want to come in and now say you want to create a new and then choose a new pipeline. So a pipeline enables you to restructure the deployments of an application in Heroku into different environments. So they give you a staging environment and then a production environment. So they also have a feature called review apps, which enable us to actually be able to deploy pull requests before they are merged. So over here, you want to say you want to create a pipeline. I'm gonna give it a Django, a DJ to do pipeline. So the name can be arbitrary, doesn't really matter so much. So then for the owner, doesn't matter. Then here we need to connect it to a GitHub repository. So, so in here you need to connect GitHub. So I've already connected GitHub. If you don't, you're gonna see a link to connect GitHub. And then we want to get the, we, we need to add the repo. So our repo is, is Django tutorial YouTube. That's what we want to have over here. Let's search for it. it, should show up. Then we click connect. Then we can say, okay, create. Okay, so when you say create, we need to come over here and, and enable review apps. Now it's gonna say that it's gonna ask if we want to create pull requests. So if you want to create a review app for every pull request, yes. And a, a review app is basically a deployment of a pull request, like the new changes. So we're gonna say yes, destroy them after five days, cool. Let's enable them and yeah. So right now it, it is enabled and there are no open PRs. So also over here, you notice that we can now deploy our our application, our local application for Django in Heroku on staging here. So to deploy it, you can click add app and then you want to search for an existing app. So since we don't have an since we don't have an existing app, then we can create a new app. So the app name can be maybe Django to do staging, okay? Something like this. Then let's go ahead and create it. So you can click create app. Then it's gonna create and then we can click in it. Then in the deploy section, we should be able to deploy it. So here it's connect, it's already connected to the project. Then we can say, okay, deploy main. So we can say deploy branch main here. Also, it's always good you enable automatic deploys. So this allows you to, to not come to deploy every time you merge a pull request all the time. So you need to click enable automatic deploys. Okay, so here it is trying to deploy the application. So it's gonna go ahead and try to deploy it. It failed to actually finish our build. So what we want is we want to adjust our application and make it ready for the production environment. So we can go to our settings.py and we need to ch change a few things over there. So also one thing we need to set up here is the static root. So the static route is where Django will be moving all the files in deployment. So here in here you see that the command for disable correct static failed. So Django runs the Python manager to correct static that gets all the static assets you have in your projects, things like CSS, JavaScript, images, and then optimizes them, prepares them for a live environment. So it has to move them from wherever they are into this static file static folder. So it, you need the static root for it to be able to do that. So now that we have that, we need to you to set up our application to work on Heroku, to work fine on Heroku. We are going to be using a module called Django Heroku. So we need to install that. So if we went to the browser and searched for Django Heroku, you can see that there is this PyPy package. So we can click here and then install it. Also, when Heroku is running your application, it's going to need to run a web server that can serve a Python application. Now the popular one you will see is G-Unicorn. Okay, so we also need to install this. Now I'm gonna come down here and install it. And guys, for people who are on Windows, make sure you're still using Git Bash because like I said, I really intend us to go on the same page. So if a command doesn't work for you and you're not using Git Bash, then I don't know, <laughs> get Git Bash again and use that for to run all the commands. So now that we have G-Unicorn and we have Django Hero, we need to freeze the new dependencies into the environment file. So another thing in the settings.py, we to use Django Heroku here, we need to do a few things. So basically we need to import it. So over here you can import Django underscore Heroku, then down at the end, like at the end of the file, then we want to do Django Heroku dot settings, then locals. This is gonna be able to set up everything that Heroku needs to serve our 
to run our Django application properly. So also another thing we want to do is to tell Heroku how to really run this application. So Heroku works with these files called proc files. So we are going to come to the root of the project and also create a proc file. So like this, make sure your P is capitalized and these are not capitalized. So make sure it's that. Then here, we can define the things we want Heroku to do when it's deploying. So we're going to de define, so among others, when it's building, it goes through a phase called release. So in that phase, we want to run our migrations. So I want to say manage.py, make migrations like that. Then we want it to migrate after that. Then we need to set up a process that's going to be serving our application. So we can say web. So when you say web, then we can now specify a process that's going to run our application. So we're going to be using gunicorn like we saw. So we can say gunicorn. I'm not sure if we installed the correct one. Yes, we did. So we can say gunicorn. Then we want to put a path to our WSGI file. So our WSGI file is here. So you can say to do list, actually to do site dot WSGI. We can come back over here and we can, I'm going to create a new branch because we're still in the, the other one. So minus B then let's deploy. So now that we have this, we need, we also need to set up Heroku. We need to set up environment variables in Heroku. So you notice that this fails, notice that this failed. And if you are using a, so if we were, if you were using the Heroku CLI, which we are not using now, then you want to run this command and set this correct static to one. So for us to be able to set it, we want to go to settings. So we can click reveal. So over here, we can set it. Then we set the value to one. We're also going to be setting some of these environment variables here because things like sending emails need to still work even when the app is on Heroku. So we can set up the secret key, <laughs> secret key, we can set up the secret key. This can be anything. All right. Let's also set up this one. So it hosts on the email. Okay. I'm not going to be showing you guys mine. Make sure I use your, your email. Actually for the email, let me just, the email is okay can keep it. I will just not show you the password. All right. Let me set up the, the engine. So I believe it might need the engine to be able to know which database we need. So let's set up that. Okay. So the other things we, you can add them on demand as it complains about them or if it needs them. But for now, this should do. So if let's go ahead and now give the status. And now let's commit these and also push this. So you can say git add all git commit minus m deploy up. So since we didn't check out from, from main or um, from master, then we can first refresh. Then we can fast rebase it. So we can do git pull rebase origin. It's called main. Make sure you have the latest changes. So we shouldn't get conflicts on the PR. So it has rebased properly. Now we can push. So from a rebase, you need to first push. So we can do this, not dash D. It was in that dash F. So we need to first push it. Okay, so now that it has pushed, we can go ahead and create a pull request. So we can say deploy, say prepare, deploy, deploy basic app to Heroku. Okay, so then we can say create pull request. And we already know it's going to go through our previous processes of rebuilding our application and checking it for new changes. Should be able to show us problems if they are there. So you see now GitHub Actions is picking up. But most importantly, if we come here, you see that we have this branch is pending to be deployed. Meaning that when we set up the review apps in there, it's gonna be picking up every 
pull request we make and it's going to be deploying the new changes so if we say if we say show environment should be able to we should be able to see that but one thing i want to show you guys is when it comes to to when it comes to review apps so let's go to our pipeline we need to set up the environment variables separately so to set up the environment set up the environment variables it has already failed already let's check why so set up the environment variables we need to set up this one too so we need to go to settings then we can go to here then we set the map so we're going to be duplicating the same process we did so secret key is very important to have all right it can be anything i'm just going to get all this bring it in here save okay so now we need to re-trigger the build because there's no way it was going to work the other way without having to without having add this in the environment so i'm going to make a simple change and also push so can do git add commit then let me push it so every time there's a push you see how it picks it up so let's check the log this time all right so it's going to detect the app the python app it's going to install python and everything else so it's going to check the requirements txt then it's going to install those okay so when it's done it's going to show you that built app over here and then it's going to give you a link to the like the deployment url so we can copy this so when we copy this we can go to our browser so like here we can now run it so now you can see that our application has been deployed our basically our pull request has been deployed and things are good so if you come over here you notice that our checks failed let's check why they failed so unit test has failed i believe we added code that we didn't test so missing this oh so we are having an issue we're having an issue with the static files so we need to really find a way around that but you can see that the pull request has failed has passed and now that means if we merged it in remember we set up automatic deploys on on staging so every time there is a new push to, to main it should be able to deploy automatically you see it's set up now we are sure that since the pull request has been deployed then there is no reason why or there is no way why it would not build on the like on the push to the main because it's already tested and this actually comes in handy where you don't really want to be shipping something and then you find an issue and then you go back so if there was an issue we would be solving it at this layer before we can merge it or at this step okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh since our build so since our build failed i can't really go ahead to merge it in we don't know what that can cause so i'm gonna be i'm gonna find a solution to the problem then i'm gonna be coming back so let me first go to stack overflow and look for this issue here so since we are sure that our application has now been deployed in on heroku and can and will always be deployed on every new change I'm going to be pausing the video here this issue i'm going to resolve it it wasn't supposed to be in the video so yeah so i hope this showed you a way you can really like deploy your django application to heroku and to also utilize the review apps feature similarly be able to set up different environments here by the way when you come in this pipeline over here you can be able to like so you can be able to let's say you wanted to move this up to production you want to, you can move it here and heroku will take care of you can have like a branch that basically has the code on production this one can be let's say on main and these can be like the development ones so i believe this is a good workflow that heroku sets gives us so i hope you learned a little bit about all this stuff and i hope you found it helpful so i'll talk to you in the next series and by the way i want to thank you guys if you sticked around up to this point because i i know it has been a long series or it's been like long video if you're watching the the one video so i want to appreciate your time i want to appreciate you watching 
please feel free to leave any comments you might have if you have any questions if there are some things you want to chat about you can always reach out to me on my social it's also down there in the description and i will see you in the next videos i'll see you in the next video series so yeah have a good one